them to game one of the final match, Dreamer versus Crane. Dreamer starting at the 12 o'clock location as the green Protoss, 6 o'clock location. We have Crane starting as the brown Protoss. This is on blind side, so <laughs> Dreamer's favorite map. Wondering if Dreamer is going to have ideas actually now uh, to go up against Crane. Crane, honestly, just I think microwing and having superior unit position and capitalizing on Nilsi making a big mistake, breaking off his Dragoons to the right. Whoever wins this will advance to the round of eight. Whoever loses this is eliminated. Master Ray, of course, advancing ahead of this. My, f I'm going to favor Dreamer, being that Dreamer, of course, took runner-up in Hasu League last season. But Crane, he's a very skilled Protoss player. And honestly, when I see Crane lose, I still feel like most of the time it's just Crane beating himself oftentimes. He's, he's talented. He's got the skills there. The question is, is can he execute? Both players opting for a pylon in base. Accidentally sl selecting the Kakarou. I will get back to you guys when I know what the... Uh, by the way, the Chinese message back again. I'm wondering if it's the same message that we... That was, I don't... I should learn Chinese. I kind of want to, actually. Um, but... Uh, I'm kind of curious if it's that message once again telling everybody to just go relax and to not again, but yeah, saw it here first. Sorry about that in the middle of the cast. Don't have control over that. Blizzard headquarters in theory has control over that. I'm wondering if that'll provoke them to dedicate a little bit of resources to kind of fix Battle.net here and there. But what kills me is, is that can be triggered or provoked. And also I wonder, is it hackers? Because they said they fixed that. They said they fixed it. I don't know. Anyway, assimilator warping in. For both players, we do not see Zealot first for Dreamer, and no Zealot first, so mirror builds on both sides. The big difference here is that Crane is going to get this scout in initially. What that will mean is that Dragoon will be out a little bit earlier, but at the same time, it can kind of be that split focused and annoyance where you're getting that, oh, your units are under attack message. And yeah, two probes actually pulling off the line to strip the shields on that probe. However, comparatively, that probe scout should be killed more rapidly for Dreamer than for Crane. On paper. Dreamer making his probes gooch across the map to get his scout. There is an initial zealot that's been produced, perhaps to blockade. I don't think it can blockade. I think this is a two zealot wide ramp. Not positive. With some micro, maybe he can push against this. With that, Crane's going to end up a little bit behind in the overall probe count. Still doing some harassment right there. And actually the probe pulling off for Dreamer. Maybe because maybe this is a blockade. Take it back. Maybe the pathing got disrupted. Crane realizing that Dragoon's gonna be out momentarily, gonna go ahead and back off with that unit. Yeah, I thought that probe. Well, I guess no, I guess you can blockade it. Nice micro by Crane to send that probe home. Which is going to leave Dreamer in the dark comparatively. However, Crane's still sitting at one gate, moving forward with that Dragoon and that Zealot, kind of staging out towards that natural expansion. The first Dragoon making its way across the map. Needs to be careful because this is a Zealot and a Dragoon on the front. Dreamer slightly ahead in the overall probe count. Sneaking a proxy pylon in the bottom right-hand corner. So Dreamer looking to do some sort of robo-drop. Needs to be very careful with this initial Dragoon. I think realizing the map just has so much area to do these sort of shenanigans with. Might be able to sneak an advantage here. Robotics facility for Crane. So one gate Robo. Versus I, I assume, are we going to see... Usually you'll see DT drop with this. And with one gate Robo, the question is, is, does Crane plop down an additional gateway before going Nexus? Here's the thing with Blindside, the Dragoons are grouping up here, but if Crane has his wits about him and takes the a Zealot or a Probe the far way around to this northern corner, he might be able to get a scout out. There's just a lot of area, it's difficult to deny scouting unless you're really backed up to this natural expansion. Zealot moving forward, Dragoon's going to engage it, it's going to have its shield split off and eat a little bit of base damage. Three Dragoons are there underneath, going to re-engage, but this is a superior engagement point for Dreamer. 
So as long as the misfire rate stands with him, he might just stand and fight. Gateway warped in, shuttle on the way. We see an observatory and a robotic support bay there for Crane, and we're also seeing observatory robotic support bay comparatively. Two gateways behind this. So Crane's going, I think, one gate into expand with the Reaver to be more a defensive unit. Whereas Dreamer, he's setting up, he's staging as though he's taking his natural expansion, but he wants to get aggressive with his shuttle and Reaver. And honestly, off just one gate of production, I don't know that five Dragoons and a Reaver will be enough. I honestly want to see Dreamer even plop down an, uh, an additional gateway and try to apply Dragoon pressure on the front towards the natural. Looks like that additional probe scout trying to sneak out and getting wiped out there. To kind of split the forces so that Reaver harass can be even more effective. Reaver halfway there. He is moving forward with those five Dragoons. Even with these five Dragoons, that is going to pin Crane's forces to the front. The Observer is going to see these Dragoons moving out. I think once he wanders up and sees that natural expansion empty, he'll have a moment to react. But by the time that happens, that Reaver is already going to be on the way. Six Dragoons and a pylon there. He can't really split his forces. He is going to be able to defend any sort of attack. Cra Dreamer also needs to be careful that he doesn't eat these shots on the front. Otherwise, the Dragoons get wiped out on the front. While that's happening, though, nice t nicely timed attack by Dreamer. Is able to drop that Reaver in the main and wipe out significant amounts of probes. Turning back around as he saw the rest of those units retreat. Hopping on top of the Reaver. Picks the Reaver off. The Dragoon's not able to get the Reaver on that back corner. I'm having trouble even keeping up with the action. So a Reaver down, additional Dragoons down on the front. The probes just scattered back and forth. And nice early damage from Dreamer and two Reavers out. And I don't know that Crane just has the raw Dragoons to defend this anymore. Dreamer's continuing to pick away at this. Crane realizing he's got to open up one front or the other. Pressing forward to attack that. But while that's happening, the Dragoon's getting wiped out at the natural expansion. And the probe line once again vulnerable. Dreamer was able to back some of those units off. You can see Crane trying to run back. This is so much economic disruption here. The Nexus is taking a bit of damage, but while that's going on, the Dragoon's attacking some probes. Going to try to hop on top of that Reaver once again. Crane needs to be careful. One Reaver taking damage. One Reaver down in the back of his base might end up losing this shuttle and this Reaver. He needed to keep these alive. Some nice micro here and there is going to end up losing that. Did take out that Reaver on the front. Is still peeling into probes here on Crane's natural expansion. So that's cleared out. All sorts of economic harassment. Dreamer continuing to press forward with more Dragoons. And actually, I think in a sizable economic lead now. Here's the trick, though. Dreamer ended up losing two Reavers, a shuttle. He does have the double gate to follow this up. Needs to get his own Nexus up and produce probes in a hurry. Because Crane, even though he lost a lot of probes and had a lot of economic disruption there, he still is going to be able to produce probes at twice the rate before this Nexus comes online. Reaver waiting on a second shuttle. So there's a brief period of time here where Dreamer is going to have a significant advantage just because of the, the lack of probes. But he needs to press that advantage is what I'm saying. And yeah, Crane realizing it didn't have the economy to hold things up. Loses that Dragoon on the front. And realizing that Dreamer wasn't going to sit back actually GG'd right there. I like that. Great play all the way around for Dreamer. Man, I want to do one more. And we got Follow That Rhythm in here. Good to see you, Follow. I'll do another one for Follow. GG.